the whole video because I've explained it in details and the do's and don'ts are distributed throughout the video they are not in one specific part so I also make this decorative candles or uh, pillar candles this is a bubble candle we have the arc candle this wax melt ah, it's written key so that it's very cute the decorative candles are very cute but we are not going to do that today that is for uh, next time so I hope you enjoy the video and learn something and make sure you try try making yours at home and tell me how it goes. Make sure you subscribe to like, share and comment down below. So guys, these are all the materials you need to make the candles. I'm going to explain the function of each of them to you. Yeah. Uh, I hope it's clear enough. So first we have this Mikida. <laughs> it's a heat gun. This is going to help melt the uneven tops or the sinkholes after making up the candles in case they are there. Then next we have the story wax. It's natural story wax. It's a 354. Yeah, this is going to this is what you're going to melt at a given temperature. And then we have the jars, of course we need the jars to hold the candles, they're very cute. As you can see we have rose gold, I believe, and this is a rainbow, rainbow slash clear jar, it's a glass jar. You need glass jars because if you use plastic jars or what are they called, this, this other material, I don't recall the name of the material, it's going to melt or it's going to burn. But for the glass jars, they can uh, withstand the heat. So we have the rainbow jars and we have this frost frost white jars. They are cute. Yes. After the jars, we have the scissors. I'm going to cut the wicks with the scissors at some point. And then we have these glue dots. They're tiny. We are going to stick these uh, wicks. These are the wicks. We are going to stick them. We are going to stick them on the jars using the glue dots. And then we have our fragrances. We are using two of them. This is um, black currant and um, bubble gum. We are going to mix the two of them. This is what I use to measure uh, the the scents. It's it's 15 ml. Uh, here we have these wick holders. There are four of them because we have four jars helps position the, the wick on the jar now after this are these are more wicks i'm going to cut this to a shorter length and then after we have this thermometer it's in fahrenheit and uh, decrease celsius so you switch on you either hold to measure the temperatures and then we have this muiko. This is what I use to mix uh, the wax and the fragrances and the, the colors in case I'm using uh, any color. On the far right, is it right? Yeah, we have the picture. This is what holds the soy wax when you're melting it. And then we have the weighing scale this is what i use to measure the the wax the correct amount of wax on and then you can tear or you can choose the mode that you want to use so we are going to measure our wax now this uh the jars the glass jars are 250 ml 
but now we are not going to fill all the way up so it's approximately 220 gram of wax because 10% of the soy wax should be the fragrance so we are going to measure 220 times 4 what is 220 times 4? 880 that's the amount of wax we are going to use so on first we place the pitcher say other weight so we are back to zero now this we are measuring the, the amount of wax no not yet we set to 20 times 4 it's 80 So guys, as we wait for our soy wax to melt, we are going to stick the wicks onto the glass jars. So first, let me start with this one. First, we have to cut this long wicks short. Let's cut the length of the other ones, or a bit longer. Let me see, I hope my scissors are sharp enough. So let's do it. Oh God, I have the worst scissors. Yes, good. So they are a bit longer, but it's fine. I will just trim them later on. So we stick the wicks in here on the four jars. center like that and then you remove the upper part oh it's taking forever <laughs> yeah I think I have short nails so it's... yeah like that and then because you're gonna use two wicks you try position it not at the center but a few centimeters let's say one centimeter from the center so and at the middle so there there you go i will try pressing so this is the second week Yeah. 
you see it's melting uh, so I'm just going to stir to speed up the process the wax is melted now we have to measure the temperature to 180 fahrenheit or 80 degrees celsius that is the temperature at which we're going to put our fragrance uh, you can put it at around 180 to 185 fahrenheit that is 80 to 80 i think 85 fahrenheit uh, degrees because at that temperature the fragrance is able to mix well and blend in with the wax well higher than that the temperature is going to burn below than that it's going to be it's not going to be well incorporated so you have to be uh, at around that uh, temperature yeah it's at 178 right now so we wait until it's um, let's say 183 so that we'll wait it we'll wait for it to cool off as we prepare our fragrance 182 189 and So we have our fragrances and our jar at 80. So we add our fragrance 15, 1. That is 30. We need it, we need the fragrance to be our 44 or 40. Let's just use 40 because it's supposed to be 10% of the total wax. So that's 80 I've chosen to put 80 because I feel like it's going to be a lot plus it's concentrated so we start mixing we start mixing immediately slowly for five minutes uh, I don't have a time over here but I'm going to approximate the time slowly by slowly so another thing I need to mention is the amount of fragrance that you're going to use on your soil wax depends with the density too so some of the fragrances have a high density others have a low density for example vanilla vanilla is a bit thick so the density is a bit uh, high so you need to you can put at around eight percent not ten percent Five minutes already so we are going to stop at that point so we are not going to pour it now we have to wait for it to cool a little bit before pouring onto the jars and that temperature is going to be 35 Fahrenheit or 60 degrees Celsius we'll leave it for let's say five minutes for it to cool off because we do not want to pour our wax while it's too hot that is 69 degrees Celsius so we have to wait so guys um we are back it's at 133.3 I think this is I can pour it at this temperature because I'm tired of waiting to get to 130 so we pour it at 130 135 as long as it's between 130 to 135 that's okay so 
slowly. I have to put this down. Start with this one. I'm not sure whether. Yeah. So pour slowly. Uh, to your preferred height. So I'm going to, to stop at that. pouring our wax you can see I've tried to approximate the size it's almost the same actually so I'm going to let it solidify for like 12 hours the required time is the approximate time is between 6 hours to 12 hours or 24 hours for some people but mine I'm going to leave it for 12 hours to solidify so that now I can come cut the wicks and leave it to cure for around two weeks so guys our wax has solidified as you can see 12 hours later but now this as even tops two of them came out so well these other two they are very uneven tops this is where our heat can comes in we have to melt the top of it so that it can be uh, even So guys this is the result after melting the top with the heat gun it's now even now we are going to cut the wicks to it to an eighth an inch or a quarter a quarter an inch either is okay you see like this one this is a quarter an inch so the next one i'm using the nail cutter your candles and let them cure for two weeks so that the scent is going to be well incorporated so i'm going to leave them for two weeks and then i'm going to leave the packaging and dispatch them to the to the clients and that's it thanks for watching see you next time Oh